YouTubers. Hey, welcome back to Rankin Projects. Um, so today I am putting together a rowing machine. Now I haven't seen very many vi- uh, Unbelievable. I haven't seen very many videos on this specific water rowing machine. So check it out, it just came in the mail today. I almost have assembly done. The instructions are actually very well written. Um, and so I'll show you where I'm at. So this is the size of the box it came in. Okay, relatively small. I would say it's probably a two by four foot box. And here's the rowing machine. Okay. So right now I am putting together the main beam right here. It's got four bolts, two on each side, and then it will have four that go up underneath as well. Um, but yeah, it's a water rower. It's a Borgusi, or Borgusi? I'm not really sure. Um, sounds Italian, but it's made in China. But anyway, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, Maybe I'll show you a video of when it is complete. And I get the, the things I still got to do is I got to put the feet on down here. Um, and then I, it does have a little monitor uh, for counting. You see the wires right here for counting your reps and everything and distance. But uh, then we'll fill, fill it with water and we'll be good to go. All right, we'll check back in a bit. All right, guys. So when you do put these nuts in here, make sure or the bolts, I mean, make sure that you thread them by hand so that you're catching the proper threads because these bars are all aluminum and you don't want to cross thread anything. All right, so like I said, four bolts go up inside of here. They go on like this. Come with a lock split washer. Goes on the bolt first. And then they have just a regular flat washer. Goes on next. And then thread them in by hand, make sure it goes in easy. Then you should be able to tighten them down. That's it. Okay, guys, I'm just tighten them down a little bit here. Again, on these, you don't have to crank them down because, again, it's aluminum. So I'm not going to put a lot of force into these. Just make sure that they're pretty tight. So that main beam there, attaching the two sections, was actually step five. Um, I'll do a quick review. Step one was putting this back foot on. Okay. Just got some bolts underneath there. Not hard, there's three of them. Then you slide the seat on. Okay, so you get your seat. Then you go to this section here. Step three is you put this part on here. Four bolts, all using the same Allen it comes with. Okay, two on that side. Oh, let's see, and two on that side. Okay, so then you got your front portion on here with the wheels, so you can move it around. That was step four. Let's see, yeah. One, the back one, two, the seat. There was another one, yeah. Three, these feet. Oh, you wanna know what one of the steps was? There's a little plug under here, right here, like a little stopper. Thread that in by hand. And then putting the two pieces together was step five. Yeah, pretty simple so far. Yeah, look at right there. Step three, you put the plug in. I like steps like that. So yeah, now we're on to the next one. You can see these pictures, illustrations, and description very well written out. So it looks like we got the computer part next, which looks like this. 
screen goes on there, has a mount over there already, and then it looks like we put the feet on. In the packaging, it comes with all the tools and everything. You got like this siphon thing, I'm not sure how to use that yet. These are my feet. And he also comes with a funnel. So, comes with everything you need, and it's really simple. How many steps are there? Let's see. Looks like, okay, so in step six, we're probably just mounting. Okay, the water rowing machine is, oh, step eight, the water rowing machine is finished. Okay, it's not even a step. So, I guess there's seven steps to this whole thing. It's not bad. I'm turn the page here, see what we got. Okay, it tells you how to fill, empty the tank, pedal adjustment, and moving the machine. Sweet. I'm excited. All right, guys. Like, subscribe. It's just a little product review and quick assembly. It's really easy. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Hit that like, subscribe, hit the bell, and we will catch you on the next one. All right, take care. Hey guys, so got a complete, on the side here, it actually has a gauge for um, your water level. The lower the water, the less resistance. So you just increase the water level for more resistance. So I got a, a max resistance, put it all the way up there. That's what it looks like. Cool.